man who made safety recommendations after the death of a killer whale trainer 20 years ago in Canada said today being around killer whales, even highly trained whales, carries some risk. One of the whales involved in that case 20 years ago, Tilikum, the same whale that SeaWorld is challenging federal findings over and safety issues here in Orlando. West News Dave McDaniel live on what is now day five of this hearing. Dave? Well, the professor from the University of Victoria in Canada admits that SeaWorld has tremendous expertise when it comes to training killer whales. And he says they had a very long list of very specific safety regulations when it involved working with Tilikum. But still, he says, OSHA's investigating a trainer death, showing in his mind that you can never remove the risk. The OSHA expert admits the SeaWorld shows demonstrate a high level of training. The whales follow instructions, a sequence of events. He admits that reinforcing good behavior makes the whales easier to handle and more predictable. But he says the whales are still extremely large predators. They kill things. He said when he read the incident report on the death of Don Branshaw, it was eerily similar to the death of a trainer in Canada in 1991. That trainer slipped and fell into a pool with three whales. Tilikum was one of them. Nobody knows which whale took the trainer down first, but Tilikum ended up with the trainer and didn't let go. He says when he sees the video of Don Branshaw lying on a shallow ledge at the edge of the deeper pool, he says he would not be that close. No way on earth, he said. Now, how many people have to die here before these places are shut down in terms of allowing trainers into the water with orca? A man famous for his intervention in Japanese whaling says OSHA's right. Trainers need barriers between them and whales. Orca are a predatory animal. They do not belong in captivity, and they most certainly do not belong having trainers in the water with them. You know, if, if they carry on with us, we will be back here in another five years with another death. Now, Cyril continues to stress its own expertise, saying that it has a good track record of not only identifying whale behavior uh, and also amending that behavior. They want this administrative law judge to set aside the OSHA finding of a willful violation of safety regulations. Reporting live in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. Dave.